everybody! Welcome back to Pikmin 3! We're jumping right into this right now, day 17! We're uh, currently at the Twilight River, we've lost- we've sat- we've been- we have all the stats here, you can go pause the video and do whatever the heck, I don't really care. Last time we finished the Orange Bridge and did- and got a special power-up and fought the Burrowing Snagret. Today, we are gonna be fighting the Scornet Maestro. At least, I think. That's what the thumbnail is going to be, so you already know, so that's not like a spoiler. People who look at the thumbnails will not be spoiled. People who look at the title will not be spoiled if I just say something like Scorn at Maestro, Scorn at Maestro. We're going to be fighting him, even if we don't finish the fight. And back in my pick, I, so we're still going to be, like, fighting him. Also, really quick, since this, like, pauses the daytime right now, this area, I'm just going to say some stuff really quick that I want to get out of the way, that I don't want to, like interrupt the rest of my talking in the video and all that and my commentary is that I recommend you go watch my other videos not only because I want you to go watch my previous video and actually all the videos before that and catch up and if you have already watched my videos maybe check a few older ones out or or start from where you left off if, if you remember and you know get all caught up before you watch this video also, check out, to get familiarized with me, go watch my, and also to see more of what I do, watch my two other current series, which are Bowser's Fury and Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and also in Pikmin 3 Deluxe, I learned that if you uh, attack a boss and you leave for the day, its HP stays still as damage, which is really helpful, so I will go to bosses as soon as I possibly can now, unless there's like something else I really want to do that ends up taking most, most of the time, but anyway... On onward to the rest. I also I can't wait to break that wall over there. I don't know when it's gonna happen. In fact, it might. It's most likely. I'm just putting a heads up. It's most likely gonna be after I uh, when it, I'm like collecting all the fruits. Cause if you don't remember, so just in case you guys don't remember, what I'm doing is I'm doing a or and I'm doing a all fruits run. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to shake them, I was like doing, you know, flail, like shaking my hands. Like, So I am doing a all fruits run. Which means that I will not be done with this. And same thing with Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Which means that I will not fin I will not stop playing this game. And I will not finish this series until. And I will not fight the final boss until, until I have gotten all fruits. And that, even then, I might do, like, on this game, I might do, like, Mission Mode Solo Edition. On the Pikmin Deluxe, actually, in my spare time, I was playing Mission Mode, and every time, no joke, I'm not even trying to be, like, be, like, actually act like I'm really um, epic or something. Like, <laughs> please believe me, but, like, no joke, I actually got every mission I played first try edition. Except for, and then I, but that was Treasure Mode, and then I played, like, Battle Mode, but then it got, like, interrupted, and had to like stop because I was like so issues and stuff but anyway and if about talking about the other game we gotta go climb this giant tree with the thing on top of it and again the reason I'm saying it's a score maestro is because you already know that from the title but I'm gonna act all surprised still because I feel like that's gives my videos the hit they need <laughs> look it's Ulamar whoa wait Scornets Oh, uh, they're circling him up, they're picking him up, they're getting rid of- Oh, where is he going? Ah! I just realized today's gonna actually be a long episode. <laughs> you have to help Olimar! Attack it! Oh, that's right, the Scornet Maestros protect little protectors, eh? But yeah, so the Scornet Maestros will actually protect the. Or those little Scornet people will protect the Scornet Maestros. This is really easy to dodge, this first one. <laughs> so yeah. And then you just wait for it to do that, and then you charge all your Pikmin. And then that, and then you go. Also, if you're any of your Pikmin, they get taken by one of the attacks. And they'll, um. 
If one of your Pikmin get attacked, if, or if any of your Pikmin get attacked, <laughs> then um, they'll be at the end. They'll be sucked. But like they'll get like in a circle, and if you free them, then and then you can like free them. No! Pig Pikmin got attacked, got carried away because I accidentally dismissed instead of sh instead of charge. I didn't charge. I accidentally dismissed instead. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So basically, any Pikmin that gets that get captured will be held captive like this. And a circle will like form, like it'll form a circle, or they will form a circle, and then if any Pikmin you save will be saved, and any Pikmin you don't save will like die. It's honestly not that hard to do. Let's stop freaking out. It's not, even, it's not even targeting you. Look at this. I'm just, I'm Brittany, and I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna angle. I'm just gonna walk over here and prevent any of them from getting attacked. <laughs> I'm gonna charge, and it's gonna fall, and I'm gonna charge again, and then all, the, and it's gonna get attacked, and then this is gonna happen. <laughs> this is probably a very quick boss fight. Easiest. This is actually probably by far the set. This, I think, this boss and the uh, and the the Hemoth boss bat are the two easiest bosses to ever boss. And of course, the first one's super easy as well. I normally with this one you want to like kill them and stuff, but because then and then they start zooming in and but uh we're safe and then he falls and then they all get attacked and then they all attack him and then we win. See that was even faster than the boss path. This is a hundred percent the easiest boss. See, I think we definitely have time, because we're going to have to do two days at once. You'll see why in a sec, but this is probably the easiest thing to ever... Oh, Kevin Olimar, he's not moving. We need to get back to the Drake as soon as possible to make sure he's okay. First things first, got to take back the box, boss's corpse, and as usual... And as usual, it's going to be the pink, pink Pikmin doing it. Yeah, it even says Scorn at Maestro. And also over here, it says... Question mark, question mark, question mark, even though we, like, kind of know he's Captain Olimar already. This is also a question mark, question mark, question mark, but it's a new fruit. I forgot what it is, actually. And then all of these little mini stupid corpses can be, like, ticking back. I think I still need, like, 20 reds, though, for the... Now I gotta go make sure the pink Pikmin don't, like, die to some stinking freaking spider again so I'm gonna have to watch their pathway yeah there's also those orange bulb orbs over there we're not dealing with them right now <laughs> also there's this thing a uh, nectarous dandy fly dandy dandy dandle fly dandy fly dandy fly whatever and if you hit its head, it'll like basically <laughs> whenever you hit a body part, one of its body parts, <laughs> um, basically it'll like drop nectar, but then it'll also go away. But if you hit its head, it'll like come drop all of the nectar's worth. So yeah, the pink Pikmin will come here. The spider hasn't respawned, so the Pikmin are safe to. Come fly over here. This silly red got stuck on the freaking ledge. So yeah, so the pink pigmen are definitely gonna. Everyone's gonna come this way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. Well, actually, they don't. I don't need to push this down, but I feel like I should push it down. That way, there we can get back up here and like get a faster boy, so we don't have to like do the whole lily pad thing for in the future. So we, yeah, we push that down. We're gonna get everything back to base for like the first time in my ever, and ever when I play this game, for me playing this game. I still don't know where the, like, oh no, I remember where there's bomb rocks that I can use to break that. Anyway, for the sake of time, I'm not going to actually, I'm gonna end the day so sooner than I normal than I regularly would. 
for the sake of the fact that we have to do where the game forces you to do like this day after you beat the scornet maestro your the game actually literally forces you to do the next day after that so yeah for that reason and that reason only i'm going to um end the day soon once all these after all these guys like suck everything up so that's our fourth boss in the game <laughs> and a lot of pink pikmin now their population like just boomed up oh i feel like the other bosses still give more than this anyway here's like the thousands of other pikmin carrying stuff back analyzing olimar we're receiving a transmission from the drake analyzing recovered life form Hocatation. Life form is in stasis. It's a hocatation, apparently. Subject subject spacesuit has act has for activated forced sleep mode. This individual possesses the cosmic drive key. I hope this force sleep wears off soon, so we can question him. And now all the guys are sucking up the pellets into the thing. Or suck them all the little mini, uh, scornet man things. Why are we missing a Pikmin? Why is there just a... Where is he? Somewhere... Yeah, why is there that walk Pikmin just chilling there? You know what? I really don't want to have to walk there. So I'm sorry, little Rocky boy, but you're going to be sacrificed and I'm just going to make a new one of. make a new. give birth to another one. Sorry, dude, but. I'm just really lazy. No, I'll make a, I'll make a second rock, rock boy. Don't make. to, like, recover that. And sorry, guys, I really know you're probably screaming at me, like, go get him! Don't be lazy, but. I really, I seriously want there to be time because we have to do two days at once, literally. So we're gonna put all the pink pick, all the guys back. We're we'll probably only need four more, and then they'll have 120, and then I can like take them back, take 20 out without having to worry about like, and then it still have like 100 backups. I don't know why, but that's just how I like it. So we're all gonna climb into the hatches. And then we are going to end the day early because for the last time I'm saying this, we are have to. We're going to literally be forced. Yes, I'm okay with that. We are literally for going to be forced. So I'm going to skip these cutscenes, but we're literally going to be forced to do two days at once. And I don't want to see that rock Pikmin die, so I'm going to skip it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to skip this one too. Okay, that's enough skipping. Yes, I can't wait to taste this. Just taste the new fruit. I could have gotten this another one, but that's I don't really care. So this is a seed hive. I, I literally I have no idea what it is. Sadly, I like actually forgot. Let's see. I'm checking right now though. We have one out of one apples, two out of two uh, things, one out of one dragon fruit, one out of one like thing, other thing, mango. I think yeah, it's a mango. Probably one out of one watermelon, if I in case I already hadn't said that, and we have one out of one of whatever that new thing is. Now this is where it is, yeah, yeah, we're not gonna read that. She always says the same things now. After after enough there's after you play enough, there's like nothing new for her, anyone to say. So I don't need to read it. Cause like you just go check out my other videos where I actually read it. Yeah, so all that really happened was that uh, we found Louie the thing, and then we, or, oh, sorry. We found Olimar the thing, and we drank a juice, and the Rock Pikmin came up, and the Pink Pikmin boosted up. Reds are still the top of the line most Pikmin numbers, though. We finally managed to rescue Captain Olimar, but his suit has put him in a state of s deep sleep all we can do is wait for him to wake up no sign of the cosmic drive key either i guess we'll use this time to relax for a bit and get some rest not the best day 
Yeah, honestly, it wasn't the best day. I've had better days, like that one day where I grabbed like a million fruits. And we were like, that's like, safe. that was like the best day. Well, not really, but you guys should understand. Later that night, seeing it. Olimar hasn't woken up since we brought him aboard. Hey, I know that spacesuit. It puts you into deep sleep if you experience any big surprises. I missed an entire surprise birthday party once because of those suits. Man, that must suck. What are we supposed to do now? Z, Z, Z. Would you mind keeping it down? Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. We need to get him to tell us where the cosmic drive key is. In order for him to do that, we need for him to wake up on his own. Let me try slapping him. Brittany, seriously? No, no. Trust me, we can do... We can't do anything once that suit kicks in. We need, just need to keep an eye on him. See, the next morning, so now it's f already forcing us into another day, and I don't know how to, like, not do that, do it, so I'm just gonna let it play out. And we're gonna see how this recording goes. Oh, God! He's running away! Do you hear, like, a people child? Whoa! Explosion! What was that noise? It was probably the guy just running out and exploding stuff! Where did this ground come from? Why aren't we in the air? Why? I can't ta even take a quick snooze, snooze without something going haywire. This is bad! Omar's disappeared! And your rubber ducky is also gone! A-W-O-L! Captain! What did you say? It's even worse than that! He's run off with our juice! No! We need that to live! We gotta get food immediately! And this is kind of why I saved all that fruit. In places, especially. Because, like, this. That villainous pig! We need to hunt him down! You're right, Brittany, we need to hunt him down. Okay, we gotta get a juice immediately, and I know exactly where I want to go to get that, to get a juice. Like, before we do explore the new area. That can wait a few seconds. First, we're going to go attack these guys over here. And we're going to go walk up from behind this guy and charge at him. Do that. Basically, but the point is, we're going to go, now that we have the yellow Pikmin, we can go break down, like, this wall over here, finally. So we're going to go do that, because there's, like, that fruit over there that we've already seen. There's a fiery blowhog man. So we're going to go break this, and we'll get that fruit, because I want to make sure no matter what, we have fruit as soon as, or juice, fruit, whatever, as soon as possible. And they know there's more in the other area, but in, the, or in other places, and, like, the new place, because, I mean, he blew something up. There's obviously going to be a new area. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to catch him or something, and then we would have to do so, or we would just have to do a puzzle or something. But anyway, so I know there's more in that area, but I want to go take care of this. Now, if you've seen my Pikmin 3 Deluxe newest video, you know never do what I just did with those guys unless you have, like, a bunch of Pikmin. Like, I recommend, because I recommend only using reds, and I even showed why on that video, using a, a little transition because, not really because, and it wasn't because I could, <laughs> it was just because I, um, well, it was because I, like, just, well, yeah, it was because I wanted to show it, and especially because I didn't say it, uh, so that was, like, a demonstration, so, like, your Pikmin could be sent on fire, up. no, 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 stop it, stop it. So, uh, these guys are gonna be big digging this up. I'm gonna patiently wait. I'll get back into the squad. Look at us. <laughs> big giant Pikmin clan. And we also see some water. If you can't see it, there's like water way up there in the top right. Also, I do know in my first video I said there's this, uh, information in the bottom left, but it was actually in the bottom right. But I don't really feel like correcting that, so just keep that in mind whenever you go back and watch that and I'll say it again just in case you came back and after watching because this is technically a double day but it's like not so um just in case you came back and don't know already go watch my other videos all that stuff get familiarized with me blah 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 
Also, why are we? Mi oh, he's way. Oh, we're missing that guy over there. Okay, get back here. <laughs> so look, as I already described. Yep, yeah, there is a new area. See, this so we blew up this giant wall that used to be here. There's a path. Our food must be this way. I will not let him escape. Whoa, guys, look at that! Uh, there's a thing that we can push up. It looks like an onion again. Louis has become even more problematic. All he does is nod or shake his head, and yet he consumes three times the amount of food I do. Not cool, Louis. Not cool. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the pinks, and I'm going to send all of the other Pikmin that we have. I'm going to send all of them onto this wall over here. And then we're going to go... We're going to go like get a few of these guys and we're going to get the- No, I threw three! I threw three! I threw three! It's another fluke weed. Can you guys just get onto the thing? I'm throwing it. There we go. Okay, this is done, so I'm going to call these guys before the cut. This is pulled up. It's a blue it is an onion it's the blue onion we get more pikmin and i think you can already guess that it's a blue pikmin see look at that okay let's call all these pinks and then we go pluck the blue guy and look it's blue pikmin he's just chilling in the water a new type of Pikmin sprouted from the onion that was in the water. This Pikmin seems right at home underwater. You know what I don't get? Look, this guy is literally touching his feet on the ground. His mouth, whatever, is in the air. How could Pikmin not survive this? The other Pikmin should be able to walk on this. Because look, their feet could touch the water. And red, red and yellow Pikmin... I, okay, I get the rock Pikmin. They have like small feet. But the red and yellow Pikmin are about as tall as this guy is. So why can't they s touch their feet on the water? Like, you're sure you can go underwater, like you can go underwater over here, that makes sense, where, like, only Blue Pikmin can go down there, because then his mouth is submerged, but I don't get why he, they, or the Pikmin can't just go on to the water, but, I don't need to really complain much, I don't want to, like, just fill us with complaints about that. We discovered remains of what appears to be underwater sculpture, perhaps we can, we can, perhaps we can just... Restore it so that we may cross the opposite shore. Louis is here, but we still need someone else's help to do this. Also, there's I'm not sure if I showed him off, but there's that guy over there. Now we can finally uh, attack him or whatever. Okay, that was not the intent result. I meant to charge, not do that. So that's going. We can continue with Brittany getting all the bl making more blues. Let's go grab the data file really quick. Blue Pikmin can survive underwater or in water. Yeah, and look, even in the picture, it shows the other Pikmin are drowning, like reds and yellows. Like, okay, I get, again, I get the rocks, but why can't the other Pikmin put their feet, their little feet, under the water that should be the same about, which should make them as tall as the blues, while the blue and then their mouths are out of the water instead of just always drowning? Like, like seriously. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, it looks like these guys are done, so I'll call them back. There's that blue pellet. These guys are gonna go do that while the yellows dig up this pellet for the bluey blue Pikmin. Also, can't wait for the next day. Oh, I'm not really sure how much I can wait for the next day because uh, sure the onions will merge, but then I'll be having to go like walk all the way over there when I want the blue Pikmin to do something. Or whatever, so it could be a little annoying in theory. Come on, yellows, you got this. And then I'm not the yellows keep carrying it back until they get like to about there. And then the blues can handle that. I'm not really, I don't really think I need all of these other Pikmin though. I probably could have just used a few less, but. This is, now you see why I like having 20 Pikmin out at a time, because there's five, because two times five in math is equals to, like, so two five times 
two times five, five times two, whatever the heck. It equal they all it all equals to ten. And there are ten, five different kinds of Pikmin. The max limit is 100, which means that bringing 20 of these guys out would mean that I get to have the same amount of every kind of pick. So that means every kind of Pikmin, will, there will be the same amount of the of every kind of Pikmin. So I'll let Bra Really? I feel like... Oh, there's more guys over here. Seriously. So I feel like I don't really need all of these guys oh he's over here okay got it so like, I don't feel like I need all of these Pikmin men so I'm gonna go send them over to oh no they're there so I'm gonna go send them over to um, this spot right here so they can go work on like getting fruit so that way me while Brittany and is chilling with the blue Pikmin Alf and Charlie can go work on the other stuff Blue Pikmin can s attack while swimming. So basically, yeah, when you charge at something, Blue Pikmin will, like, go swim over to it. Also, I'm, I didn't check what... I didn't read what this guy's name was. It's a, uh, Spuddlefish. I didn't... I saw what... I checked him out, but I did... I, and I locked onto him, but I didn't read his name. And again, the only reason why I'm charging these Pyre Blowhogs is because I know I have... I, I know I haven't... See, like, that... That could have gone haywire, and then I would have to call a lot of Pikmin... But I'm only so I was I'm only doing it because I know that when I charge it's it should like kill them in time like that but that guy just then he almost like did the thing you No know I'm sorry Pikmin but I'm just going to charge all of you Whoops poor Pikmin The reason why I'm doing that is cuz then I can just call all those guys and the rest can chill Oh uh, yeah so now all so the bridge is, should be done now I might have wanted like some rocks because they're like powerful or like some reds because they fast attack or something since there's this guy, but I think I'm good. Oh, so this, oh cause there's this guy. And then also Alf is way over there, so I wanna get him. Uh, back with Brittany though, I wanna do this guy because there's that fruit. Oh yeah, I do need yeah, I should have actually gotten rock pikmin, so I'll come back with rock pikmin because there's uh there's that thing over there that I could have that I should have done. That's a little mishap. So I'll go take this guy. Also, I didn't lock on him. This is a waddle puss. So um, over here, we'll shake. We'll do this to the Pikmin. No, nope, I'll take all of these guys, and then I'll grab the yellow, and then I'll throw the two rocks. And then you'll just like walk up to here. Alf, though, you're gonna grab the rock Pikmin, and you are going to take a long walk. All the way over to here. And then, uh, this thing needs 20, and we'll do that in just a very short sec. Oh, we should have also gotten some wing Pikmin for that. I just noticed that. I'm always a little late at noise, notice, noise, noticing, noticing things. So Alf's gonna have to make another trip. So we're gonna take these guys... Uh, still, no, Alf is gonna go, uh, Charlie, really quick, let's go to Charlie, what's this? The game doesn't tell me what that is, so that isn't fruit, cer that certainly isn't fruit. Day is almost over, I think I got a decent amount of stuff done. Oh, it's just a pellet. Also, all the pinks out here, and then I'm gonna switch to Alf. He's gonna go collect, try, go collect them up. Meanwhile, Brittany is gonna go have Hall of Herb. Is gonna smash that and have the blue Pikmin push this down. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! Whoa, whoa! That was way too close. Let's go work. Actually, I'm gonna do this first. So let's get all the blues on here. So Alf's arrived, but we can't control him in the set right now. So that pushes that in, and now we can, the Pikmin, and then we can, uh, use that for stuff down there. Uh, the rocks need to go smash this. Oh, we're not gonna get to lift that gate up to now, so I guess Alf's kind of, doesn't really matter with Alf. Um, I'll take the blues on this, because they can take the water, which is faster. 
I'm also gonna have and now I'm gonna go disband them group uh, Alf actually you're gonna go or Alf you're gonna go grab these pink you're actually gonna go grab Charlie because I'm not gonna do this I'm canceling the exploration mission and that's gonna be the next day and then Brit they're gonna come and grab those rocks while Brittany goes down here and we do this yeah so not Pikmin to free them from the bubbles so, like that guy blows bubbles and traps Pikmin if you throw a Pikmin at the bubble it'll pop it also that we push that down so now when we go here like if you went down here otherwise you'd be like trap well you wouldn't be trapped you could walk through there but getting the orange you couldn't like pick up the orange because the orange is too big to fit through that small gap no this is why I took a bunch of Pikmin with me because of these guys which are probably the which I really hate these enemies they're probably the worst in the game no, they're really easy to kill, but that's the thing. They also, well, they're not even that easy to kill necessarily, and they take a while. And the reason why I hate them a lot is because with Pikmin, what they'll do is on blue, they'll like they'll catch Pikmin in their mouths. <laughs> and oh gosh, I just realized that. Um, that the little Pikmin can't actually take it past the wall. <laughs> Why do I have a Pikmin trying to... Okay, what is this? Where is this happening? There's a Pikmin trying to break some something somewhere. And it's definitely a blue Pikmin. Wait, yeah, he's here again. Oh, wait, gosh, no. He's up here somehow. He's literally not even, he shouldn't even be there. Yeah, I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. I'm gonna have to call the Pikmin and end the day while he's in the squad, so that way it works out. So this is gonna be some crazy timing stuff. But first things first, I'm gonna send all the Pikmin back. <sighs> this is gonna be a toughie. I mean, it's not gonna be tough, but I mean, you you get the idea. By the next episode, we should hopefully be able to get that orange and do some work and maybe even get the thing set up for the next thing. Yeah, so those guys are going to go in, and then we have to do this. We have to call him and then end the day while he's in the squad, and then hopefully this won't mean make any p the blue Pikmin die. Anyway, so we got two fruits to survive us for a fi to allow us to survive for a couple days days before we get more fruit. We're on our way to uh, the next another thing. We have to fix the monument underwater thing. Okay, yeah. So that may seem like cheese, but honestly, it's not because I don't know how the blue Pikmin even got up there in the first. Oh no! I think what happened was the the blino thing it like jumped into the air when it like died so either it jumped onto the land up there because they jump really high or it just jumped and like it spat out the pikmin and the pikmin got spat out up there so i feel like that should be fixed because that's like oh no i don't like that but anyway it's increased in size again you don't think the drake could get absorbed t do you no i don't think there's any danger of that <laughs> well or probably not hopefully oh you know what Oh, you know what? This would be great for blending. We could get a nice mix of flavors. You know what? I didn't even mean that when she said oh, but I was saying like, oh, you know what? I don't even think it's big enough right now. <laughs> but anyway, so... Okay, because the pocketed airhead... So the searing at the pocketed airhead over here gives two... Okay, that's good, because this gives us two and a half juices. So we get, that gives us a lot of juice, and then the lesser, well not the lesser mock bottom, the searing acid shock gives us one. So we'll have at least three and a half, which means we'll have the same amount of rations we came onto this planet with. 
along with half a container, but by the end of the day, we're only gonna have two. Sadly. But this is gonna be like the first day. If you, it's just gonna be like if you didn't collect fruit on the first day of landing, on the second day of landing here. Because when I said the demo gives you like two days, no, or one day, it gives you two days because you know you have two days. Oh, just think of how much juice we had this time yesterday. Curse that hocation. Finally, new lines of dialogue I actually read. I actually want to read. Urk, we don't have much juice left. We need more fruit, like now. Well, don't worry, the next day is, is gonna. While well, the pink Pikmin help bring up that thing and do work with the rock, rocks and the blues, the reds and ye the reds and yellows, and probably actually the rocks, because I don't think there's anything else the rocks need to do. But they, m so like the rocks, reds and yellows will go work on the thing, while the blues and pinks work on. Uh, uh, progressing and then we get fruit and stuff we only we didn't lose any today we have lost 17 in total sadly though um yellow and pink both have only need one more to become the maximum power of 130 reds have 161 rocks have 116 reds have 23 and stuff and yeah and i went and did and um i did and this and now I do have, oh yeah, the blue onion was only able to produce a single blue Pikmin. I wonder if it took that last bit of strength. Thank goodness we were able to dig that onion out. The blue Pikmin may very well have been on the verge of extinction. Yeah, just like the, uh, actually I think all of the Pikmin except for the reds and yellows were, started out on the verge of extinction. In fact, they kind of all did because the reds, there's only like four reds at the start of the game. There, sure there was like 30 yellows. But by the time we, uh, <clears throat> Charlie got attacked by the behemoth Fossbat, there was only, like, f three and two sprouts in that cave with Br that Brittany came into. And then the, the rock Pikmin were all sucked up, were all sucked up, so, and we don't, and so they couldn't do anything about their poor little onion, because the yellow onion needed the light, and the two Pikmin were plucked, stuck in the ground, and Pikmin don't know how to pluck each other. The red onion was hanging, and none of the Pikmin could grab it, or none of the reds could grab it. <clears throat> the rock Pikmin thing was in the glass and stuff, and I already described that. The pink Pikmin onion was being attacked by the thing. I'm sorry, I didn't get to finish the report, if I didn't already, but... They, the yellow, pink Pikmin were being in the, stuck in the spider web, and they, they none of them existed yet. And then the blue onion was in, stuck in the water, so they were kind of all on the verge of extinction. By the time uh, during the events of after Car Charlie's crash site. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified. Again, if you want to, because I only say that because it's catchy and makes for a good outro. But otherwise, you don't really need to do it if you don't want to. Go check out my other videos, especially my most recent D Pikmin 3 Deluxe one, because that took forever. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!